Welcome back everyone, Grosjean here with some more Man of Medan. Now, if you've seen the last few episodes, you will see that I have been scared to death in this game. But it's been so much fun. It's been a lot better than I was hoping for, to be honest. I think um, it's not what I was expecting. I kind of knew it was a bit like Until Dawn, where you'd had like little decisions to make and you'd had to press buttons and stuff like that. But I did not expect all these jump scares and it's been, it's been good. I don't know really what's going on everything's like it's getting creepy i think we're hallucinating a lot and i've got a feeling it's going to get worse before it gets better but yeah we're going to carry on where we left off hope you're enjoying the series so far and yeah let's see how we get on it's brand new compared to the rest of the ship who was was that someone's face right next to us then search the ballroom and find the others okay let's go something over there oh there's a few things to look at in here what are we searching the hallroom for though? What can we expect to find in here? That looks like a creepy chest, that. Oh, do we want to open this? A lighthouse? A picture on the back wall, is that it? Weird, weird. We got stuck on something. Can we not walk through there? Gotta go round. That's so strange. Something on the table to look at though. A book, another book. Huh? Hear them creepy, like windy noises. Oh, that looks like occultish stuff. Cabal should listen. <laughs> Cabal should silently assemble and no more or fewer than five true individuals of sound, um, sound mind and spirit. It should number three female, two, two male. Firstborn faces obscured with hood. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Sigils. Know what's important to the source and the spiritual well-being. Flock that before the festival of... I don't even know what that word says. Akramahamari. Can ritual of Therakia is performed to went away demons. This doesn't make sense. By means of Cabal. The pentangle shall be drawn out, and each member shall stand at each of the five primary points. A lady born of the seas shall be rendered unconscious and placed at the centre of the pentangle. It is from there that the assembled should recite the incantation of Saurus, sword in hand, with all exaltation possible, as is written. We five stand at the furthermost point. We are yet close enough to touch. Pentagram. The five star great power turn 90 degrees here. Describe the uncursal. Out of the pentangle is faith, sword forward and using rents. Turn degrees to describe the occuvernal sigil constitutes there with reference to face the north with exaltation claims. That's strange. That is so strange. Oops, shit. The sword forward with exaltation exclaimed. The pentangle is sacrificed, page 34. Each member takes a step inwards and then is still in stance of something ram. Recite in unison, we are one, and so is our Lord. O Saurus, with the sacrifice, we ask you to cleanse our aura, to rid us of the demons that plague us. We spill the life of man in your honour, that we may ourselves worthy of your trust. Only when the incant lit should the five converge upon the S, S drawn, each member should in turn to rid the unfortunate body of its unclean blood. Skull dagger blood tree. The body should be transferred to a casket of thick wood with head accessible by your flock at any time as a reminder of the evil that can infect the unwary and the power of Saurus to keep all safe. And so the ritual and no longer should the spirits. Yeah, I don't get that. It's some weird occultish stuff by the looks of it. Okay, so we got our torch. Let's just keep going. Not like there's anything else on this side. I don't want to go through that door yet. I want to go and check on this side. Guessing we should do this anyway. There must be something else on this side to check. Oh, we've got a big grand piano there. We can play. Do we want to do this? Let's do the same notes again. Yeah. Okay, we're not doing nothing with that. Looks like we can't go that way, go around. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. I was, I was unexpected. There's something over there. Two things to check. We check the fireplace. Oh, no, what is that? Is that like an altar? 
Oh, it's a fountain with blood. No, that's not what I wanted to check. Go back. So, the little pentagon with skulls in the middle. Ugh. Let's get up the stairs and go around. So we got a stage. Very dark. Alright, there's only one way to go. It's an open door. What are we going down for? <laughs> We're on the wrong way. There's a lever. We can pull that. Is that going to pull the curtain up? Yeah, so, look at all the blood on the bottom of it. Oh, there's a casket. Is that what I was just talking about in that book? Where are we? Oh. Do we really want to look at this? Oh, it's alright. Oh, Jesus. Don't want to play this no more. <laughs> this is horrible. This is so horrible. Is that something at the back there as well? There is. Blood dripping out the wall. This just gets better and better, right? Right, let's go. Let's go out the door. If we can. Are we walking through a puddle of blood or is that a red carpet? We outside? We are. Is the room different or something? She's looking like she doesn't recognise it or doesn't believe what she's seeing. Okay. Yeah, the room is different. Oh. oh, is this where the guy's hanging down when he jumped off? It is. How did we end up here? Brad. Brad is scared to death. Hey, Brad. What are you... Hey, what's wrong? Ah. Oh. Ah. 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 What the fuck? Oh no. Wait. What is going on? Alright, we're back with the others now. Cargo hold one. That floor doesn't look too safe. Who's that? Oh, he's got a big hammer. in the water. You gotta swim up. Oh no. What's this? No, that's not him. Look, he's got... Uh, shells on his head. If he, if that was him, he wouldn't have been there that long. Oh, this is a drink. But we got it back anyway. Maybe. His eyes just moved. Uh. Oh, yeah. we ready with the buttons, get ready with the buttons. Um. Do it! Do it! <laughs> Didn't know what was going on there. 
There's a knife. Don't trust anyone with a weapon in this at the minute. Why did we leave the knife on the floor? Thanks. I could have drowned. I'm sorry, but you did the right thing. It was him or us. Oh, oh shit. <gasps> Who's this? He's still alive. Now he's got it. Oh no, he's got it. Let's go. Run. Faster. Oh. We change it to someone else. Maybe? No, I don't know. Oh, that's him running away from the other girl. The captain. You wanted to surprise me with the whole pirate adventure thing, and I gotta say it was a good idea. No, it was. I mean, it's funny. I think it's funny, but... What's happening? I think the guys you oh, are taking it a little too far, maybe. And don't be cheap. I mean, you didn't feel like paying top dollar, and that's... You no get, one there. You get these guys that are not the cream of the crop. They're taking it a little too far. You know, you get my drift? It's walking like a zombie. So if you want to feel free to pull the old plug, get rid of these guys. I'm with you. I mean, these guys are fucking crazy. They're chasing us around the ship. What the hell? <laughs> oh. Alex! Don't stop, Do just that. keep going. Oh, that was a doorway then. It is, it is. Can we not get in there? Oh, why is it all music like that? Yeah, oh, we can't get in there. Oh, she's back. Oh. There's something on there, what's that? Secret found water for your, the water purification plant with field notes. From Warren's office at night. Right, we're gonna have to check all these rooms. Hey, what's that? What's that? Another operational order. Operations order. From Captain William P. Ford to senior officers, internal use only, man overboard, ordered full stop and anchor. I received reports of a man overboard, ensure that all units under your command are notified and prepared to assist in the search and recovery of the casualty. This was no accident, I saw him jump. Okay. Makes sense with what's going on. Everyone's gone absolutely batshit crazy. Another one, internal memorandum. 14th Division Army to all officers, Captain Ford has ordered that the consumption of alcohol is strictly forbidden during this voyage. Any officer found drunk while on or off duty will face a court martial. Your alcohol rations will be provided to you at a later date. The war is over, this is bullshit. Okay, let's go out of this one. I'm going to check that we never missed the door on the other side because I know we skipped a little bit there. Just, it's just fucking with me. That's it. I gotta find everybody. Like, there's Whatever a room there. Is, it's, just, it's just fucking with me. Okay. No, we can't go that way, no. It's fucking with me. Looked like we could. But he's losing his mind by the sound of it. Go through the door. Something there. What's in the cupboard? Every time we open a cupboard, there's something stupid jumps out on me. An empty bottle. 
Not allowed to drink, but they've got empty bottles Probably in the cabin. Not much of a practice what you preach, kind of guy. Oh, that's the captain's office. What? Ah! And the creepy laughing just to top it all off. Nice. If anybody knew what the hell was going on in this place, it would have been the captain. Yeah, you'd like to think so. Okay, so that's this room done. That's a grossy toilet there. Nowhere to go apart from through the yeah, door. I should really take a look behind this door, shouldn't I? My door's should. exactly. What yeah. should I? Don't want to. Depends who's behind yeah, you. I should. Scared to death. Ah, <clears throat> oh, perfect. Well, alright. So how do I pry this son of a bitch off? I gotta find something to pry the door open. Okay, what are we gonna find then? Candlestick? Minor. Got to work, yeah? Oh. <laughs> Definitely ghost in here. There we go. Go and grab the candle. Just do it. You just seen it fly across the room in your first thought is let's go and pick it back up again. It's got some half at least. Enough from the door. But you got that creepy nurse sailor lady type it's the kind of woman behind us as well, so we don't really wanna we don't wanna stay here. Oh there we go. Don't look behind you. Uh, is she a ghost or is she bad? Hi. <laughs> oh, uh, buttons. That could have been death, that. She's coming. What is all this? Oh, she's looking worse for wear. Oh, it's close. Break her arm off. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> uh, run, 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 run. It's going to grab our legs. No, no, we're okay. Gonna have to jump. Oh, 
What's below us though? We're gonna jump. Oh shit! I thought there might have been water down there. Well, there's our first death. That's our first death. I can't believe we made it all the way there and then got him killed. Come on! Lower death. This is bad, this is bad. Oh shit. Go, 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 go. Get going. Jump, jump, jump. Keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> All right, we're out, we're out. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Maybe he's gone? Lock the door. Oh, oh. Uh. It's me. Come on, let's go. Jesus! We gotta get somewhere safe. This is so bad. Stop! It's a brother, isn't it? Sweaty hands. Feels like it's all coming to a head, doesn't it? Are we good here? Oh no. I think. Yeah, I think we'll be all right here. <laughs> Got through enough on this boat without uh, seeing a brother dead on the floor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know now's the absolute worst time to say this, but we can't stay here. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. So we're all back together. What next? Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Now you're one down. Could be worse. And what about Conrad? took a step into the unknown, I fear. Too bad. Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? No. Nope. How to save the lives of your poor, <laughs> unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. There's loads of them and they never figured it out. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. 
Uh, come on, give us some help. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. So like Perhaps you've started to realize Chemical something. weapon or something? That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Not a lot. <laughs> well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Back to it. Speak soon. Weather deck, June the 21st. This ship must be cursed. It's the only way we can explain all this evil shit that's happening down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? What the fuck happened to my brother? Someone had to have seen him before he... Before... I saw him. I, I mean, Fliss and I both did, right? <clears throat> yeah, but just for a second, I tried to catch up, but he was gone. Gone where? Why? I, this this just doesn't add up. Should have never split up. We should have stuck together. This would never have happened. He jumped off the funnel, or maybe he fell. I don't know, but he was scared. He was terrified. He jumped. He jumped. Oh my God! I'm gonna be sick. What the hell was wrong with you back there, Brad? You lost your shit like big time. You almost killed me. What? What are you talking? Come on, no, no, come on, that's ridiculous. The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know. It's just this can't it all be you. happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's got to be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Um, where's the gold? Did you see the gold? Anything? It might be time to accept there's no gold here. Would have seen it by now. What happened on the ship? What do you think actually happened to this place? No idea. There was a note about a storm in the logbook. I guess they got caught in it. Is this a ghost ship? I do want to ask that question. <laughs> Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? I guess that's one way to look at it. So according to this letter I found, the guards here were absolutely t We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard well, that was weird. because they were really <laughs> freaked out by something. Where did the crew? What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? You can smell death everywhere. It's like a tomb. So where did all the corpses come from? They actually look like they've been scared to death. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold so, on. Who are they? The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Well, yeah, after seeing what happens to the other guy who went high up. We really want to go up there. I don't know whether this game's glitching out a little bit or it's just not sure we gotta get off the on the questions. <laughs> Find a way up to no the radio shit. tower. Okay. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. Do we need to check in any of these gaps? Yep. Yeah, we do. That's a big bullet. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. They look smaller, though. I was saying that, that's the casing, not the bullets.
So we're trying to get all the way up there. Sutting on that little lifeboat. It's got big holes really? in it. Could be rust though. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheese. I mean, this storm should be passing by now, right? I mean, I don't think we've got a storm. I think it's just raining now. Be like you got to check everywhere. Right, so. Let's just follow the girl. Follow the captain. Found a way up? Sadly, no, but... I'll keep my eyes open. It's down this way. Anything? Anything? Dead end. Oh, there is something to check, though. What's that? Oh, I hate opening cabinets. It's not a scary the temp time. <laughs> uh, see what this says. Gas mask instructions. Always ensure your gas mask fitted before you before assisting anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas or hear the gas alarm, don't panic, remain calm and clearly shout gas, gas, gas to warn anyone in the vicinity. Hold your breath, attach the mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm, pull the shoulder sling over your right shoulder and hook it onto the bag. Hook the belt around your waist, remove your helmet, pull the mask up to your face with both hands. Put your chin inside the mask first, then pull the mask over your face and the harness straps over your head. Remove any potentially trapped gas, close the outlet valve and breathe out sharp and sharply, then push any remaining air out of the mask without, with your hands. Check for leaks by tightly squeezing the flexible corrugated, corrugate, corrugated hose with your hands and inhaling. The mask should crumple around your face. If the mask does not crumple, there may be a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure it's snug, then repeat the process above until the mask crumples to ensure that there are no leaks. Huh. Oh, Must have been moving back. some pretty dangerous cargo. Let go with the hose. You may now breathe as you normally would, replace any headwear and close and close the carrier bag. You now you may now remove the mask only when you're told it's safe and instructed to do so. Press the mask open slightly and smell the air. If you detect gas, close the opening and repeat the process of closing the outlet valve. Breathe now sharply and pushing any potentially trapped gas out of the mask with your hands. Once you have removed the mask, replace the mask and flexible corrugated hose into the carrier bag as you found it. You may remove the carrier if it's no longer required by unfastening the belt and shoulder sling. Gas masks will only be issued in the event of a gas leak. So, gas. I'm thinking chemical gas. I think that's what could have been the cause of this. Like a chemical weapon. Can we not go any further there? No. Is that... What are we looking at here? Don't know what you're looking at, but there's nothing there. Is there a door over there? Anywhere? Anything? Where are we going? It's so dark. It's hard to tell. Right. It feels like we need to go where that guy is there, but... Are we, oh, we cannot. Oh, can we get around? No. Oh, there's an A up there. I didn't see that. Need hey, the boost. A little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. Mm. <clears throat> I'll pull you up. <clears throat> Didn't pull it up far, did he? Just enough to get his arms over. Who are we controlling? No one yet. No, oh, we can't go that way. We're going up. So slow on the stairs, you. Where did all them other bad guys? What happened to them all? Let's just... Have a, can we go up that, that way actually? I just want to check because I know there's a door down there. Just seeing that woman with it, right? Not in there. Get stuck on little corners so easy sometimes. This is this is where I chased Conrad before. 
This is where you chased Conrad before. All right, can we get in there? Over here. Got a way through here. Just can't open it. Oh, wrong button. I was sapping A then. Ladies first, into the next creepy room. It's got a big spring on it, hasn't it? Right, let's have a quick check here and then we'll go. That looks like a big drop down, we're not going that way. It's a dead body. Just ignore that one, yeah? Uh, let's see what the book says. Logbook. Captain's log. I don't think this is going to be much to read anyway. The last log shows him caught in a storm. No damage report. 20 foot waves. Swell from the weather. I guess that says. Waves 20 feet. No damage reported. Weather continues to deteriorate as does the forecast. Crew bearing up. Winds in the morning, the winds at storm force gaining strength weather is exceptional with severe lightning strikes hitting OM but causing no sustained damage. We're licking some water but it's under control. Navigator, ports. Go backwards through the book. Secret found. Sea going down, new thick fog, increasing the head PM, very thick fog, dense fog continues. Yeah, just a weather report. Weather log. Right, there's a door there. I just, I know we stopped when we seen this guy, but we might have been able to go further around. All right, there's two doors to check here. Just check around here for, oh, there's a picture. Oh, someone's just got shot in the head. Premonition unlocked. There's a door that's open. Oh, uh, where do we want to go first? You find a radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. And we... Not exactly confident nope. about our chances of survival at this point. No, me neither. Me neither. Right, this one's going to be locked. Yeah, let's go and check the other one. And I think we're going to go through that open door, but we've got to check them, haven't we? Just in case. He walks. <laughs> what are you stop for? Keep going. Yeah, we knew. We knew it was going to be locked. All right, let's get back around, go through that open, and look for the radio. I mean, do we know where we are? If we ask for help, do we know where to bring people to? Uh, yeah, this way. There's a map on the wall or something. What is that? Something's That's the route. Planned route and actual route. Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Secret found. So they were lying about where they were going. Letter. Looks blank to me. Something on the back, probably. There we go. Ship was blown off course. Cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Okay, so he's just told us bad storm, cloud cover. They didn't know where they were going. They got lost. Basically, right, let's go through here. So we're dead. Oh, we found the radio, and it sounds like it's where. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Look, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working! It's a number station. So what? Military bandit. 
Let's have some for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Holy shit! The yeah, idols. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. Please repeat. Please repeat. Over. Um, anxious. We're on, we're on this like old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Hello. Hello, is anyone out there? Please come in. Ah, oh, it's gone off. Oh no. Find generator hey, to restore power to the radio. Oh, we gotta go down another dark hole. What are we looking down there for? This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go. I, Obviously. There's no power. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Are you kidding me? You? Come on. <laughs> Sounds like you're scared of someone stepping out of your shadow. Scared of my idiot brother getting himself killed? How about showing me some brotherly love? Um. I got this. I'm not losing you. Oh, I thought that was ship. him saying that. I'm coming too. <laughs> hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Case closed. Right. You and me, Julia. We, ne we never finished checking that room either. Oh, no. Are they dead? He's not, but what about her? No, she's okay, she's okay. Oh, I got lucky there. Any broken bones? Everything still work? You guys all right down there? I'm okay. How did you sound to fight anything? down? He's only asking how you're We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Uh, okay, we'll wait here by the radio. Here. Got a lighter. A catch. Hey. Is that like a lamp? That's yeah, that's, that looks cool there. Uh, we want to check around this way first. Is that where we just fell down? There's nothing around there. Okay, let's go. Oh, that way. Looks like we're in the lower levels of the ship. Sick bay. This can't be good. What have we got here? Uh, one day breaks more belongings, blah, blah. Disregard for orders, intoxication. One day, one day. Oh, this was the other people. This was ah, this is where we were at the very start. Name Joe was in the sick bay. We've read these. We've read these, but we'll read them. Ju we'll just flick over them first. So it looks like there was some sort of fight, and this Charlie went to the brig. Ten day sentence. <laughs> Must have been a big fight. Oh, something else there. we never seen this one. Minutes of meeting between scientists, ex, uh, Tom Palmer, Sergeant Peter Wood observing. Ex, uh, ex for meeting with our team and says we can mutually learn. For the same thing, the Western world must be protected from. The United States have been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemical and biological agents in warfare. Uh, act limited by the Geneva Protocol, have experience we are unable to. Describes an investigation during to test the effects in human subjects of the molecule crystal structure hallucin hallucinogens. 
codenamed the Mancurian Gold. Oh, so Mancurian Gold isn't actually gold, it's chemical weapons, chemical munitions battle. It was even relatively minor, observed to trigger significant hallucinations, meant highly convincing subjects seeing and hearing things they really were not there, even. The danger was manifold and in its intensity. Okay. So we were right, thinking it was something to do with chemicals. I'm gonna need a hundred hot baths if we ever get out of here. Just a hundred? We're gonna get out of here, Julia. I hope you're right. Am I ever wrong? More banging, creepy noise. Creepy noises. Right, we're gonna go that way in a sec, just check over here. Not in there. There's a ladder. Just check past. Can we get further along? No. Alright, drop down. Come take a look. Look! Down there. What are we looking at? I think that's the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Let's find out. Shit! What? No more ladder. We're gonna have to drop. I can drop the rest of the way. Wait! <laughs> Are you okay? You went that far. Yeah. Fine. Come on down. No getting back up, though. Oh, oh God. Uh, you didn't fucking see that? Right. No. Of course you didn't. Um, hello? Yeah, I think I'm actually seeing clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So, the ship was carrying Manchurian gold. But that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. We know it was unstable and leaked all over the ship. Maybe it's still here, and it's having the same effect on us. Paranoia, hallucinations. That was what this stuff was designed to do. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something. And the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. All this crazy shit going on, none of it's real. None of it's actually there. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I don't know. It seems like the plane came in contact with the ship, but... Just a theory. Oh, God. Well, the ship shot the plane down by the All right, way. let's get going. So does that mean we not can kill us? In theory. Van Linken engine works, Rostam, Netherlands, diesel engine. Year 1920. 1920. It's quite old, that, right? Right, is there a way out? Is that a, a gap? Yeah, it looks like. I think we're going to go that way, but I'll just check here first. You ever wonder what would have happened if we went to Japan on vacation instead? Shut up. Is this just bringing us back around where we just came from? I think it is. Well, that's weird. Have we just walked around in a big circle? I found it. Oh, maybe oh, I should have checked out of the room first. And it's working. Yeah, this is it, all right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Okay, let's get, get back, back up, up to the radio room. We'll have to find a new way up. Back on, it's back on. Help! You have to help us! Do you read me? Please! Please make your situation over. We are in danger, okay? We're in a real goddamn mess out here and we need help now! Over! Recovery mission is on route to your location, over. Location is confirmed. Oh, oh, and now shit. it's gone. Work! Shit! Come on! Right, I know that th we can see a little door there. Can I get past there? I want to go and check if that was a doorway on the other side before we go out. Just in case there's something there, you know, that we might have missed. And then we'll go that way. I think that was a door anyway. But it looked like there was a passageway at the end of this hall. This thing there.
Yeah, there's something there. I knew it. I knew we were going to miss something. The engine room. Maybe something we should have read first. <laughs> Okay, a head bell, a head bell acknowledged the engine speed adjusted. Standard head bell acknowledged the engine set to standard speed. Young promoted to relieve me of watch duty. I delayed engine running at standard speed with no special or standard orders from bridge. I found Lieutenant Young to be of a sober and compassmentous disposition to hand over the watch at midnight. Phillips of watch at midnight. Uh, inspected the engine room for abnormality. Inspected the engine room for abnormalities. Performed equipment and machinery checks. No faults found. Previous logs examined. Currently standard speed engine. No new bridge orders. Full ahead bell acknowledged. Full, ahead, full speed ahead. Flank ahead. Flank bell acknowledged. So everything was going okay. By the looks of it. And that's it. There's nothing else here. So back to where we just come from. Down that passageway. By the engine. That was this way, right? It's a long walk, this. Down the end here and left, was it? That's it, that's it. Oh, we got hey. some scuba gear there, or breathing this. stuff. The rebreather. The rebreather, that's the one. I bet the fisherman brought it from the Duke. You think it still works? Uh, it's got maybe a few minutes of air left. Worth taking with us? It's just gonna slow us down. Take no, it. We should take it. I've got a feeling Our we're gonna have to go underwater. Completely underwater. It wouldn't be there otherwise, would it? Oh, what? Oh, he's dead. Is he dead? Ferme ta gueule de merde! Tu dis n'importe quoi! Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries! Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde! He's gone crazy. Look, you see the gas around his feet? That must be what it is. Oh my god, how did he die? Um, Wait, what the hell? That, that's the guy I drowned in the hole before. He's cutting them loose. Where's he taking them? At least he's going. That's a good sign. Oh, there's our thing off the boat we need. Mad. He's got a hammer. He's got the hammer. Oh shit. There we go. I don't like doing that. Right, we get in there, get our little device thing that we need and find a way out. Search the room. Well, we know our thing is... I think I just seen sort of flash up over there. Oh my God, we go and check over that side first. There, that's what I wanted to look at. Oh, it's only a little piece of paper. Right. The shipments of caskets unload daily the specialized cargo that must be treated with the utmost sensitivity. The contents of human bodies, US Army soldiers that have undergone mischief. Oh, oh god. coming. Um run. We need to go.
Ah, oh, he's got the thing we need. There's no use hiding, you little foot. Ah, oh, this is bad. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? Here we go. I have all the gold. And I'm to be left here. This is faster. But I am the captain. I am in control. And I am the one that says who goes and who stays. Ah. He's breathing down our necks. Please tell me you have an escape plan. Just stay out of sight. Let's see what he does. Americans don't like this at all. Way into a foreign land and come up short. The generators are on. The gold is mine. And now I'm the one who gets to smash. Me! With my big fucking armor! He missed us. Oh. Think hiding was the best bet there? Maybe, maybe. We'll find out. He's strong, he's strong. Holy fuck, lock it! We need to start running again. Oh no, we're good. For now. Traits updated. Right. Courageous. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. None of you move. None of you go on changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said no changing. What? Just put the gun down. Nobody has to get hurt. You think I wanted to hurt anybody? I didn't get a choice in this, did I? No. It's in you too, isn't it? Isn't it now? Ha! Ah, not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? See What's stuff? changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! Hey! There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! He's losing it. Wait, what is this mist? What does it do? It's life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Stop. The man with the gun is the if crazy one. one. Of us, isn't it? Never good. Put the gun down now. Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? <laughs> yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Dude, there is no mist. Oh, shit. <gasps> ah! No! No! Oh, my God. No! Down, down to three. Can't believe you just shot her. <sighs> what happened there? There was a, an invisible 
body carrying the torch. <laughs> Yeah, we got water to go in. This way, I guess. Uh, oh, come on! This is like that fucking movie with the ship and the, the water. Saizana. Way less dancing. <laughs> God damn it. Don't I get a stunt double at least? Well, this is just riveting. They're just sitting there waiting. They don't know that one of the girl, the other girls, died. Hey! Oh, now they just hey, there. What's happening? Yeah. They... Is everyone okay? That was the two bullets, okay. yeah. Please be okay. I got to go after him. Well, we got to go down there and make sure everything's okay. Shit. Well, what's our play? I'll find them. Make sure they're okay. You stay here with the radio. Ah. Uh. There has to be a better idea. I'm going to stay as far away from trouble as I can, and I'll be back as soon as I find the generator. It'll... it'll be fine. You done the generator? Just keep your head down. Okay? Uh, that's a bad idea. Bad idea. <sighs> God. Right. That is going to be the perfect place for us to end the episode. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you are new to the channel, if you are enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on if you want to see the rest of it. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, hit the thumbs up, pop some comments down below and let us know what you think so far. Yeah, I've been scared to death for, the, what, like four episodes now. Um, I don't know how much longer is left. I was considering staying, carrying on this one until it ends, but we, I think we're going to have at least another 20, 30 minutes, aren't we? So that'll do for the final one, possibly. But everyone, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. See you soon. Bye.